Frank, Frank, let me get hero. to him. He's he hit me. Hero. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. Five and a half years. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. <laughs> Do you He's agree with that? He's a war hero because he was captured. 2016 presidential candidate Donald Trump facing a firestorm of protests about his comments yesterday on John McCain's war record. Many of his GOP rivals calling for him to back out of the race. Joining us now by phone to respond is Donald Trump. We're glad uh, you're calling in this morning. Thanks, Mr. Trump. Good morning. Holding Hi, up Chuck. your hometown newspaper here, the New York Post. Trump is toast. Don Voyage, like many, they're saying you have to get out of the race. The race is over for you. How do you respond to that? Would you be willing to, at the appropriate time, endorse the Republican nominee, whomever it is? Sure. Donald Trump, Ted Cruz? Yep. yep. Because? Sure. Because I'm a loyal Republican. I believe that the best way to shape the agenda of the next president of the United States is to be part of the team and to make my influence felt as strongly as possible. Uh, for me to walk away from the party of Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan would be I think an abrogation of my responsibilities to the voters. Does Donald Trump, to your way of thinking, represent the party of Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan? I, I think he wants to. I disagree with him on a number of the statements and positions that he has taken, obviously. But uh, if that's the verdict of the, um, of the Republican Party and the majority of Americans, then I will do everything I can to help that president, whether it be Trump or whoever, because we are in a state of crises that the likes of which we have not seen. Attacks are taking place on the United States of America. I think I can bring advice and counsel, given my experience and background, to the next president of the United States.